Hello everyone, Heather here from the Crystal Vein Tarot here to do your 2021 tarot forecast. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so now and enjoy the reading. Hello Capricorn and welcome to your 2021 tarot forecast. So this is still a general reading, so the messages may or may not resonate. Be sure to check out your moon and rising sign readings. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy this reading, give it a like and a thumbs up. So Capricorn, let's see what energies there are for you. I've pulled a card for each month plus two clarifiers. So we have the overall energy and two clarifiers. So in the month of January, you have as your overall energy, the four of cups, and it is clarified by the magician and the nine of wands. So it looks like there's going to be some surprise coming in in January, something that's a little bit unexpected. You may have been feeling a little bit, a little bit apathy, a little bit of um, kind of feeling unfulfilled and I'm not quite sure, like emotionally unfulfilled. And that could be in your relationships. It could also be in your money, career, finance. But a surprise is going to be coming in that's going to change all of that. And it's going to really inspire you, um, whatever this surprise is that comes in. And it's going to tap into your creativity and want, make you want to tap into your creativity to, in order to manifest something in your life. And you know that whatever it is that you want to do, as, in, as inspired as you are, you know you have all the tools, abilities, talents, knowledge, skills that you need in order to create whatever has come in, whatever um, this gift is that is inspiring you. But you also know that it's going to be difficult and challenging for you and you're going to have to put in a lot of perseverance in order to achieve that. In February you have the Knight of Cups and it is being clarified by the Five of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So for many of you I feel like this could be an opportunity or an offer of love coming in if you are single and it's for those of you where this is about relationships, if you are already partnered, this can just even be your partner offering to do something um, that is going to kind of help rekindle that relationship. And it's coming at kind of a good time. I feel like you've been feeling, um, in February, you might be focusing on things that you've had to release or let go or things that you've lost. Um, you could be focusing on things that happened in 2020, for example, and, um, and so this is going to be very inspiring for you. And with it being Knight of Clarified also by the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this is something that is, if it is an offer of a relationship or if, if it's something that your current partner is offering you to deepen that relationship, it's the type of relationship that has um, long-term potential here with this Knight of Pentacles. It's something that's, what is being offered is something that is going to last and stand the test of time. For others of you where this is not relationship related, this is it looks like it's an offer coming in that um, in your money, career, finance, or even a side project that you could be working on with someone else. And it will give you that emotional satisfaction that you've been longing for because it looks like you've been focusing on, on things that, um, you've been kind of focusing on things that you've had to let go of or that you've lost recently. And again, whatever this offer is, it has this potential for long-term benefit, long-term gain. In March, you have the chariot. So I think whatever this offer is and what has started with it, especially if it's in the monetary sector or in your material um, sector, it's creating a lot of change for you with the chariot here in March. And you're gonna see the changes happening in March. You, you have a very clear focus on what direction you wanna go in Capricorn. Again, this could be in your money career, it could be in your relationships as well. But there's very clear focus and determination on what it is that you wanna achieve and what those end results are. And with this Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords here clarifying it, I feel like you're using not only your intuition and your emotions to guide you, but you also have the confidence. Um, and you're not going to let anything stand in your way to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. 
In April, you have the High Priestess. So again, this is a card of intuition. This is a card of tapping into the universe and the knowledge of the universe. So you're using that kind of wisdom in order to, to guide you. There could also be a spiritual element to this, that this is allowing to you to, whatever you've got on the go is allowing you to reconnect with your, your um, spirituality. And also it has a sense of higher purpose. And again, you have it clarified by the cherry and the tower. So it looks like, again, something unexpected is going to come up. Like whatever is happening here, you are going to be, whatever surprise thing comes in that you run with Capricorn, it's leading to a lot of change here, a lot of action, forward action, positive action, positive changes, and many unexpected results here. I don't feel like the tower is negative here um, with these two cards. Like, these are three major arcana cards. This is big deal stuff happening here in April. And I just really feel like that, that whatever you get started in the beginning of the year, you're going to be quite surprised at what results come out of it. Um, you're not going to think it would, would, whatever it was, was going to turn into something this big. And that's kind of the feeling I'm getting, that it was going to create this much change in your life and happen this quickly for you. This is really positive, Capricorn. I really feel like there's a lot of positive things going on in your life. And I know Capricorns have kind of had the poopy end of the stick for the last couple of years. And it just looks like 2021 so far is going to be a good year for you here. In... May you have the Two of Swords. So again, you're listening to your intuition. You're letting your emotions guide you. You have the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So there's information that comes in. There's, there's a realization. You have, you have clarity. You are seeing things very clearly. However, with this Eight of Swords energy, you also feel like you're not sure what direction to take. So in the month of May, there's a little bit of a freezing, um, but it's because you're thinking of all the different directions you can go in, all the different things that you want to achieve. And, and the, so there's a little bit of a pause here, but I do feel like any kind of uncertainty certainty that you do have, that you will, by the end of the month of May, you will have clarity with that and you will know your truth and you will know which direction you want to go in. And it does look like... There could be a bunch of ideas coming into you as well. And that could be where you have this Eight of Swords energy and you're not quite sure what direction to take. Swords energy is mental energy. And this is really you being self-imprisoned by your thoughts and unable to move because of your thoughts. And I feel like it's because you have so many ideas here coming in in the month of May. In June, it looks like whatever you've started um, with this month of May, whatever these ideas are, you know that it's going to take a lot of work and you're going to have to be patient and put in the hard work and the time in order to see the benefits and the successes of it. But you're willing to put in that time. You're willing to put in the hard work and you are being patient. It's being clarified by the sun and the three of pentacles. So I think whatever your ideas were in May, it's it's about you collaborating and working with others and you're working with others though in order to fine tune and really develop your skill set and your knowledge in some specific area in your life and it's being blessed by the sun here so this is really about material happiness joyous outcomes success the universe when you have the sun card it opens up and illuminates the path for you if there were any doors that were closed they open up for you um, it really makes things easier for you, makes things come to you. Like it's that divine timing of meeting the right people at the right time in order for everything to happen um, and unfold for you in a, in a positive way. Okay, Capricorn, and then we move into the second half of the year. So in July here, you have the Knight of Wands. It is being clarified by the Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups. This is, oh, this is beautiful energy too. The Knight of Wands, if I said the Knight of Cups, I apologize. I meant the Knight of Wands. Um, the Knight of Wands is about, this is you taking action. Um, knights are the doers, the seekers. They're on a quest, on a mission. So they're the doers of the tarot deck. 
And the Knight of Wands is fire energy. This is the fastest moving of the night. So this is you taking very swift and fast action here, but you are following your passion. You are inspired and you're allowing that inspiration to guide you here. And what you're, what are you inspired about? With the Seven of Cups, you have so many opportunities. You have so many options in front of you. And with it being clarified by the Two of Cups, you could be collaborating with someone. So you could be moving towards something that requires you to take on a partner or have a partnership. Or this could even be about your relationship. So this, again, is, a, and I do feel for many of you that the month of July is about relationships. And you're seeing so many opportunities, so many options, so many potentials with your relationship. And I feel like you are deepening a relationship. And that's what this passion and inspiration is about for you. Um, I feel like for those of you that were single, um, this could be you meeting someone and dating that person. Or for others of you, this is that next stage in a relationship. So if you were, you were seeing someone, you're in a, a relationship, this could be you getting engaged this could be you going from being engaged to getting married this could be you having a baby um, but you're seeing that this relationship this bond it's like a soulmate bond you're really connected you really are in sync with each other and you just see all the options all the potential that is involved and related to this relationship here in august you have the three of wands you have the emperor and you have the hermit so it looks like it looks like you, some of you may be traveling in August, but for others of you where there isn't travel and travel isn't in your forecast, then this is really about you working with others. So there's again, this teamwork element that you started here in June. And it looks like whatever you got going in June with this group of people or person, um, you've, you've taken action and now you're starting to see some results from these actions that you, happened in June. You're be beginning to see the results. You're beginning to see some of your ships come in. You're standing at the bank of the water's edge and you're seeing some of your ships come in. You also have the Emperor and so it looks like that with this group or with this individual that you're collaborating with, that you, you've set very high goals, very ambitious goals, and you're going to ensure that these goals happen. You, ha you have this very, um, you're allowing experience to guide you and you're, like all your positive and negative experiences in life, you're allowing your life experiences to guide you. And you also have the Hermit here. And the Hermit is another card. It's a card of reflection, but it's a card about you. You really going within for clarity and also finding your personal truth and your spiritual truth. So I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, whatever you started here, it really has this element of it's really in sync with your higher purpose. It's making you feel like you are able to contribute um, and give back to society. So it really has this this win-win feel to it that you are um, that whatever it is that you're doing, Capricorn, it is for you and your benefit. And I, I feel like this is work related too, and it's for your your financial gain. But I feel like it's also helping you to evolve spiritually. And it's also allowing you to do something that is really in line with your higher truth and your higher self. In September, you have the Hanging Man it is being clarified by the Page of Cups and Death. So I feel like whatever you've had going on here in June through to August, it has uh, you've gained a lot of wisdom from it. And it's allowed you to see things from a whole new perspective. And I really feel like this perspective is that you're more in touch and in tune with your higher purpose, your higher self, and um, what it is that you really want to achieve in your life, like your legacy, for example. It's also creating, this is a bit of a rebirth for you here with the death. And I do feel like with the Page of Cups, Pages bring information, knowledge into us. So I feel like you could be hearing information about a new, um, I don't feel like this is a love opportunity, but for some of you it could be. I feel like for most of you, 
that this is more about some kind of an opportunity to do something that will create emotional fulfillment for you and that's where this transition this death and rebirth it's a death of your old self and a rebirth of the new you and it's really about you doing what emotion makes you happy emotionally and finding that and finding that sense of purpose in what it is that you do and put out in the world in october you have the five of wands the five of wands is a card about it is a card about rivalry and challenges and you it's being clarified by the moon and it's being clarified by the eight of cups but i don't feel like this is an external challenge or rivalry i feel like this is you see in this card um there these combatants have their wands up against each other but they're in a circle i feel like this is you i feel like this is you combating yourself combating yourself internally and it's this feeling of going in circles here with the moon the moon can be about your intuition but it's also about secrets hidden things and i feel like this is this is really your hidden talents being exposed here and coming to the surface and you finding that and that that's where this challenge is and this you going in circles is because you're tapping into things and you're finding things about yourself that you didn't even realize that you wanted or even knew about yourself and with it also being clarified by the eight of cups you're turning your back on things that don't emotionally fulfill you anymore and you're seeking the things that do so this has become very important to you in this last half of the year capricorn that you're really seeking that higher purpose and that sense of purpose here in what you put out in the world in november you have the ten of wands so anything that was burdening you making you feel bogged down stressed challenged it's coming to a resolution or a completion here in november and it's also being clarified by the ace of coins and the eight of swords so i feel like with this closure and this wrapping up of of feeling overburdened it's an opportunity is presenting itself and it's a, an opportunity that will help you to make to feel safe and secure and stable in your life it's going to add stability it, it could even be a new job opportunity financial opportunity um, investment income because it is pentacles this is earth energy so it's it's really material world kind of energy it's also things that are practical things that develop along that you build and and you develop over a long period of time it's a slower energy and it also has the eight of swords here clarifying it so i feel like there's going to be there, you, you're going to feel a little bit indecisive related to this ace of coins um so you're going to have some mixed feelings with this opportunity um, and again, I feel like it's because you're going through this soul searching and you're just coming out of this soul searching kind of energy here that I feel like you still might be kind of in that, that where you're that seeking mode where you're not quite sure on which direction you want to go in completely. In December, you have the Ace of Cups and it's clarified by the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Wands. The Ace of Cups represents an opportunity again but this is for emotional fulfillment so for some of you this can be an opportunity for love but i really don't feel like it is i feel like we're this eight of swords here this this feeling kind of stuck here or trapped in your thoughts is you're trying to look at this ace of coins here and how can you turn this material opportunity this opportunity to create material abundance for you how can you use it to create emotional happiness and abundance as well and i feel like in december you're working on that and you're figuring that out here with this being and i think that's what the ace of cups represents in december and with it being clarified by the seven of swords this can be a card about theft and betrayal so if someone is offering you their their heart um, you do have some kind of uh, proposal coming that way with the seven of wands and seven of swords just one thing to be careful with capricorn this can represent this is um this is an offer that comes in that really is it's in and out pretty quick um with this seven of swords because this is the card of theft betrayal so it's maybe not a very serious commitment it's an offer of love but it's not commitment 
here and it's going to make you feel like you have to put up your defenses and you have to shield yourself from this but for most of you i'm really feeling like this is linked to this ace of coins and you're looking at how you can turn this material offer into something that will emotionally satisfy you too and i feel like the seven of swords is about you just kind of keeping this to yourself keeping it a secret you're not telling others you feel like you have to protect it this right now because you haven't worked out all the details which is going to lead into a fabulous 2022 for you but i feel like you're going to be starting something new at the very end of the year in 2021 capricorn that really is going to create i feel like you've started stuff here and you've created some abundance for yourself but when we start moving into 2022 whatever you're doing with this is going to magnify any anything that you had come in in 2021 where you had success and material success this is going to dwarf anything in 2021 whatever you have in 2022 and that this is leading to a very positive 2022 and that's where you're really going to see material abundance coming in and this sole purpose and really doing something that you absolutely love and putting that out in the world that you're kind of starting it all here you're figuring everything out now but this is wow at the end of the year it's just really going to hit you on exactly what your purpose is and how you can make money doing that and that's kind of what i'm seeing here capricorn so this concludes your reading i hope you enjoyed it be sure to give it a like share thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the monthly readings as well. I will be posting the January one shortly. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and I will see you next time, Capricorn.